Okay. Um, let's see. But this is, uh, it could be described as a mind mapping application of making uh, a geographical map of ideas. And um, each, uh, it, it's named after the method of Loki, the ancient Greek method of memorization, which has you remember things by places that are linked together, like you. Uh, the, there's a term called memory palace, where you construct an imaginary <coughs> palace of rooms connected together, and then remember things by remembering a walk through the map and looking at things. So, um, and anyway, uh, another uh, idea is, well, each of these, have you ever played Adventure or a Mud? Each of these is like a room, and you can walk around them. So um, the other thing that this is, is a pie menu editor. If you've ever used like The Sims, you click and you get a menu with things in different directions and you move up <coughs> or left or right or down. So really what this is is a, a network, instead of a hierarchy of menus, it's a network of menus where you can, um, you know, you can construct your own by going into edit mode, um, <coughs> do the little, uh, the multi-touch. So see, so it's a little Google Mappy like that, and uh, in edit mode, you can make a new locus, and then you can edit the map, you can just kiss them together to connect them, and, and then poop, and then kiss them together again to, to disconnect them, and, then, and it just connects the closest edge, and then poop, here we could intervene, stick them in the middle, and you could just make your little, uh, you know, map to reflect whatever structure your ideas have, um, and so like this could be these could be <coughs> geographical places that then you can go um, take a picture. Whoa, what was this? Oh, this is my new book. Um, <laughs> I was trying to put a controller up twice. Um, I'll try not to do that. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, fresh snow. Um, so the each of these loci or each of, each locus has an image and a title and a description and a URL that we can drill down into the map, you know, uh, the name, author, we can upload it to the server. It has 12 loci and uh, I use Roman numerals by default because it's, you know, ancient Roman and Greek. So, um, and each of the loci has a name or a uh, image. You can go and then get an image from the camera or, or pop it in from iPhoto. So, and you know, so you can go back to the map, and now it has the image, and um, then you can, and you know, you see the description. If this had a description, um, but, you know, it would show it on the screen here. Um, oop, that, that's the description of the, the map itself. But like, so oh, the other thing is uh, like a location and a web URL, and URLs can be like tell colon my mom's phone number. So, so if you double click on one of these, if you double touch it, it can open a URL. It has a built-in web browser. So if it's a regular URL, um, like let's go to here, make the north one URL, HTTP, www.pi.com, and then, um, then we're on the map. Um, just double click it, and that's the built-in web browser. In the world is this? <laughs> Why are you using a uh, server? I don't know. Oh, I think I mistyped my. That's not my. It's a Linux server. So. You, I think. Oh right. Oh, Pymint. <laughs> that was close. Um, at least it wasn't cake farts. Um, let's see. Um, Ah, okay. So the cool thing, having a web browser there means you can flip back and forth without you know, running another application. And you can also open the built-in URLs. Um, and you can watch YouTube videos in it or movies like that without leaving it. So you can think of this as an elaborate, um, uh, your, you know, sort of a two-dimensional um, web link, like a browser, uh, uh, what do you call it? What do they call them these days? Not your history, but your uh, your hot list or whatever. So bookmarks, bookmarks, right? So so these could be bookmarks. Um, and the other thing is, it could just be little notes you write about. So um, the other thing is, 
Well, like it's a real pain in the ass doing Objective-C dialogues. So I want to have this one set of dialogues that's you know, built into the application and edits all your content. But there's a lot of other stuff that I want to do that's much harder to do in Objective-C than it is on a web server. And also involves pulling down data from the web. It's stuff that you really want to implement on the server side. So here I have um, iLoki Online Home that, oh, hey, here's the, there's the web server. Python, Turbo Gears. Um, so it calls up and says, give me a web page. And I'm using the web there was IUI and there's like web something, web view or some, some other JavaScript library that make, makes it so you can make very iPhone looking like um, web pages. All this is just HTML and JavaScript. So, um, so you know, I put the documentation up. Uh, there's a quick start. It's a little boring now. Um, there's, uh, you know, the method of Loki. You can go on to Wikipedia. Um, I can just link in to the Wikipedia page about the method of Loki. <coughs> and, uh, you know, so it's nice to be able to just point out to resources that are there. But also, um, you know, the web service, I go, you know, I have an account that goes, oh, I, you know, knows my serial number. So, you know, I can put in my stuff and I can access this web server from a regular web browser too. So, um, and then, uh, let's see. The neat one, my online maps, I've uploaded maps. Um, I can go into, when I upload a map, it makes a zip file of my content. The web server reads the zip file, parses it all, validates it, and then puts it into an SQL database. So now I'm just downloading, I'm not even downloading, I'm just, I'm just browsing the content off the server that anybody else can see. So, so, you know, this, and basically I can go and drill down into a map somebody's uploaded and decide this is pretty neat, maybe I'll, I'll download it. So, so see we have the links, you know, these are all linked together and the links the web server knows about. So um, if I wanted to, uh, I'm inside the list. Okay, yeah, so each map has download this map and then it just downloads a zip file. I said it's download a zip file. So, and uh, let's see if the uploading is still working. That's the cool part. This, that was... Uh, that's where it actually merges, because you could be uploading a map that's already there. So it has to like merge it back in and reuse all the, the objects. Okay, so so it uploaded. Now I'm editing that map. And this is, um, oh, these are books from Amazon. So if I double click on it, it brings me to the Amazon page. <coughs> so and I can order it, and hopefully my, I'll get some money off of that. So, <laughs> But basically, well, how do you make a book from Amazon in this thing? So I, I want to make a lot of ways to create new content, because there's a lot of things you could do this for. And, um, so there's construction tools. Uh, and right now, uh, right now I have Search Amazon for books. I will have Search Flickr for photos, Search YouTube for videos, Search Google for links, images, videos, and then map locations, Google Maps. And then import an RSS feed, OPML outlines, and just templates for things that the iPhone knows how to do, like dial a phone number, but look that phone number up in the address book or send an email. So, so basically, you know, these are, think of this as like a post-it note thing where there's links between post-its and, and they can point to, uh, you know, just web services. See, like I can make a URL that points to my server and invokes a service in the web page, but also tells the latitude and longitude of where I am to the server. And it can make some web page based on where I am. Like here's the coffee shop nearby. Um, so, the, the uh, let me just show the Amazon books. So, now, what you're going to see is magic. So, what this is, oh, oh, okay, that just did an Amazon search, right? And now, so we get, this is all running on the server. So now if I click on this cat here, this is, okay, this is the save to locus dialog. So, I've got this information, the name and an image, and I can you know, look at it and, and change it if I like. Now, um, I'm going to apply it to some locus that's in this thing. So, so this is a menu of all my, uh, all the, uh, the, okay, the way this web page knows what I have on my iPhone is that it opens a URL, iLoki colon, and then get, you know, give me the list of maps that you have. So, so really the, there's this web page and it's talking to a server out there over HTTP, but it also thinks, 
that the iPhone app is another web server. And it's just, it uses iLoki colon instead of HTTP. And what I have is a set of services that return JSON. So I just make a script tag whose URL asks the app a question, like what are all the maps and what are all the rooms? Like when I say Amazon Books, what are all the rooms in that map? And then I say, you know, change locus. Now this goes out, downloads the image, and then stuffs the data in and sets the URL, and then, um, you know, I've updated the map. So, so that's just one way, you know, you can imagine that going out to Flickr and getting a photo or, you know, getting, like, automatically creating. I, it doesn't do it yet, but I want to be able to import, you know, 10 things at a time and link them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And then you go down, you know, go down into them and, and look at the text and go to the next. And, you know, then, oh, I like this one. I'm going to, you know, copy this one out into my you know, whatever I'm doing, maybe, you know, break it from here and, you know, put it into one of my own maps. So, so these things can represent anything, uh, like Facebook, like import your friends from Facebook, blah, 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 like that, and then, then you can arrange your friends in some order. And the neat thing, I, I don't have all the, the web server side done yet, but this is a web publishing tool. You know, since it puts all this stuff, it uploads this zip file onto the web, and then the server can just dynamically make a web site or you know a first you know the map that you see and then a page for every thing linked to each other the way they are and you know I, I the other thing is um, I can make a flash interface for this so so there's as the user interface talk uh, yesterday was as she touched on there are certain things you just don't want to try to do on the iPhone because the interface is too uh, restricted and the screen's too small so what I want is to make basic editing built in but then you go onto the web and have a big flash interface for importing 50 things at once and arranging them into a nice map. So, um, you know, and just basically make tools to create things that are, you know, higher caliber online, and, but still focus on, you know, reading it and doing simple little editing tasks on here. So, um, and, you know, as, as I, uh, the method of Loki has another thing that is, that I haven't incorporated into this yet, like when you're in a room, um, there can be things in the room. So, so imagine, I mean, I don't know if anybody remembers HyperCard, but HyperCard was a user interface building system that users could flip into edit mode at any time and say, new button, stick it here, <coughs> new text field, stick it there. So, so basically what I want to do is like take a picture of somebody and then I can say, new Facebook friend and put it over their face and that's a link to their Facebook page or you know just put put buttons and things into this page that are then linked out to the web or just contain some information so so and, and the neat thing is like if there's a like I'm, I'm programming all this in objective C and that's hard okay but then it's really easy to do web-based stuff so if I have a piece of content that has like latitude and longitude and name I can just link out to a web page that lets me edit that and brings up Google Maps and lets me search. And then I said, hit save, and that will just save it back into the app. And the app doesn't need to know a thing about how that happened. And I can publish the app and then a week later add a new content type because all the stuff is running in the web browser. So you know, all, all the stuff that's specific to the content type. Um, so basically, I want to make this just a receptacle for you know a map with little things in the rooms that have data, and that data is you know the Objective C has uh, NS dictionary and NS array and integer and string. Um, that's JSON basically. So so I'm squirting these little JSON uh, structures from my app into the web page and let the user edit it with the help of a server possibly, and then hit save and then write back into the app. So so it's a nice way to kind of distribute. Uh, you know, break your app up into a part that's web-based and a part that's Objective-C based. So, because um, you know, I, uh, I I found it's a lot easier. Um, you know, I, we had a Python talk today, so so this is this is all um, open source server software. There's there's Turbo Gears is a, a Python web framework. Um, <coughs> SQL Alchemy is a object uh, relational mapper that lets you do Database stuff. 
there's a, a template system called Ginchy that makes web pages and XML. And um, so they, basically it all fits together nicely and it's, it's open source, so yeah, open source. So. so anyway, any questions? I don't, any questions, anyone? Did you do this today? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> a few months, uh, you know, just spare time. So, uh, actually, I've written something like this, uh, and I used to work for Kaleida Labs, which Kaleida was a joint venture of Apple and IBM to make a multimedia object or scripting language, blah, blah, blah. We basically got steamrolled by Java. So we, we released right before Java released. And, um, but basically, it was a Lisp-like language for doing multimedia. And I had made a, a thing called Dreamscape, which was a, a, a sort of an adventure map editor where it had, it had the, the rooms that you bump up against each other to, to connect. And I had thought of it as a web page publishing tool. Because like the end result would be, here's a set of web pages that I can publish that anybody can browse. And then if they, they're in, it's like window shopping, if they're interested enough in it, then they can download <laughs> sort of the, the source content, the real live stuff that they can interact with. So, so it's a way of um, you know, doing, uh, you know, like preview this multimedia interactive thing over the web before you download it. And then when you download it, you, uh, you can play with it and edit it and, and uh, things like that. So, so on the, the other uh, influence, or, uh, I worked on The Sims, the, the game, like a dollhouse simulation. And one of the really neat things that I'm drawing from is you're playing the game and you can take pictures of the game and then write text about it. And then when you save your game, it writes out web pages for your house and your story, and then we'll <coughs> upload that to the server. And, and basically, you go online and you read people's stories and you look at their houses in a regular web browser, and then you can download their save files. So it's the same idea of you know, having a big save file that you need a, a little app to run, but also publishing it as um, HTML that will get indexed by Google and that you can look at on a regular web browser. So. So then maybe there's a business model. I think you know if people put stories, then you can put Google ads along the side or something like that. But I still haven't figured out how to make money off of it. <laughs> so, gotcha. well, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.